If you contact a power line with your vehicle, call for help, stay where you are, and keep others at least 10 meters away from the vehicle. In the event of a contact, it is not just a vehicle, equipment, or object that could be energized. Everything within a 10 meter radius of the contact could also be energized. That's why you have to be aware of both step and touch potential. With step potential, electricity spreads, like ripples or rings, over the surface of the ground, away from the point of contact. Each ring carries a different voltage. If you step into one ring while your foot is in another, the electricity will make up the difference in voltage through your body. With touch potential, if someone on the ground touches what is in contact with the power line, electricity will travel through that person's body to get through the ground. If you hit a power line, you can try to break the vehicle free of the contact, but only if it doesn't cause more risk to yourself or others or more serious damage to the power line. If you can safely break from the contact, move the vehicle or equipment at least 10 meters away to safety. If you must exit the vehicle, only in the case of a fire, jump away from the equipment with two feet together, then bunny hop or shuffle at least 10 meters away from the equipment. Don't take large steps, as there is the potential for electrical current traveling through your body. If you're not sure you're far enough away, slowly move your feet apart. If you feel a tingling sensation in your legs, you are still within the step potential zone and must continue to bunny hop or shuffle away. Fallen power lines can energize things like fences, trees, train tracks, and bodies of water. If you see a line down, do not make contact with it or get closer than 10 meters. Here are some other safety tips to keep in mind. Always be on the lookout for fallen or sagging wires, especially after storms. Never store materials, pile gravel, or leave vehicles parked close to power lines. These can also be inviting to kids who can climb dangerously close to the line. Never spray water at power lines. And be careful when pruning, a wire could be hiding in a tree. While we aim to do the best job possible at work, there is no point doing it if it endangers our lives. Power lines are a potential hazard in any industry, and it's important that workers, before beginning any task, always do a thorough site check. Know where the power lines are, and create a plan to work safely around them. And always call if you're not 100% sure. Proper planning and knowing what to do in the event of a contact could save your life. Your safety is Fortis Alberta's top priority. Ensure your workers know the hazards associated with working around power lines. To book a free safety presentation for your company, or if you have any questions, call Fortis Alberta at 310 Wire or visit FortisAlberta.com.